Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration on how to do a driver swap in ACC. So the first thing that you would want to do is to assign your MFD buttons and as you can see I'm busy cycling through my MFD buttons in the bottom left corner. At the moment I am on the car electronics menu. This is where you can set your brake bias, ABS, traction control etc. And that might be useful during the race. And now I am on the pit stop menu. So the first option is your pit limiter. Um, I believe you can set, you can assign a specific button for this, but if you want, you can also use your MFD for it. And uh, you can also select the fuel that you want to add during the next pit stop, or to, if you want to change tires at the pit stop. And you'll see at the bottom you can also select to repair your suspension and your bodywork. But the most important setting that we will be looking at now is the option to change the driver. And uh, you will see that I just selected Gerber. You can also see as I as I select Gerber at the top next to the time display, uh, there is this display with the team names or the, the drivers in the team and it shows under Paul GZA that yeah, he is requested or that the driver change is requested and uh, you'll also see obviously that I'm busy driving and um, this will also be visible to the spectating teammates and it is always nice to just confirm if the correct setting is selected or the correct driver is selected for the driver swap at the next pit stop and uh, now you will see as I come into the pits I just I will, I will be doing this very slowly it's just for demonstration purposes but I activate my pit limiter and uh, something to remember is to to stay in the first gear if you Chains up, you may get a stop go penalty, which is quite harsh, but yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. And you will see now I, as I come into my pit box, if I select it to change tires or add fuel, this will happen um, while the driver swap is also busy happening. A driver swap will take 30 seconds, and you will see the controls are locked at the top of the screen. And um, obviously very important is that the, if you select your teammate to, to enter the car at the driver swap, he needs to be connected. If he is not connected, then even if you requested the driver swap, the driver swap won't happen. And uh, after the pit stop is done, you will still be in the car. But as you can see now, the car just drove away. That's my teammate and I am busy spectating and what I will do is to press escape and then click on drive again and you will see that I am now busy spectating my teammate and that is how you do a driver swap so please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have an awesome race on Sunday